I want to talk to you about something. And by you, I do actually 100% mean myself too. I'm not necessarily feeling this hair or this makeup, so let's continue. That's a little bit better, so let's go ahead. Have you ever found yourself wanting to do a thing and then you decide or you maybe kind of try it out and then you're like oh i can't do that thing how do i do the thing i'm here to talk to you about how you can do the thing this is not a typical motivational video i don't do that kind of stuff it's just i have found over years and years and years and years of doing all kinds of creative things. I figured out a method and it's gonna sound really cliche, but do the thing. That's what you do. You do the thing. I have been drawing for like 25 years or something, as old as I am, I've been drawing. Even though I don't like to admit it, I have gotten better and I have improved because that's what happens when you practice. But the thing about practice is you have to do a lot of things that you don't think are good. Things that you could even say you think suck and that's just part of it. That's just part of it, okay? Take it from me, I have done painting, drawing, singing, making music, sculpting, making clothes, being cringe, doing an online persona, doing another online persona, doing a third online persona, and realizing that's not really quite my vibe for what I was doing. So then I started making music, but I have like tried everything creative pretty much that you could think of i mean i am poor so like not everything and i'm really bad i'm really bad at a lot of it it's not natural talent see i have a little story but we'll put a pin in that and then we'll go back to it drawing for me not natural talent i have been practicing for so long and the only time it really bothers me is when i see people who are like insanely young who can do such so much more amazing art than I can and I'm just jealous and I will admit that it's okay to be jealous but I have gotten further especially in the past few years with like drawing and of course I've taken breaks in the past and stuff but when you put in that practice you really actually do get better the problem with it is is it takes for fucking ever so let's go back to the music story I've only been writing songs for a couple of years, and I've only been seriously singing. Can you hear me? I've only been seriously singing for, I'd say, about a year. I used to try to record music, um, but it didn't, it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, so I took a break and then I came back to it. But I've only been seriously singing and writing songs and doing stuff like that for a year, practicing music for one year year. And when I started, I had no idea what I was doing. No idea. So I want to take it back even further because the whole reason I haven't done music is all because of what happened when I was a kid. So I was in chorus when I was like oh, 12 years old, something middle school. And I wanted to join the after school chorus with all of my friends. They were all going to be in it. And that was like the main reason that I joined it. I had never really cared too much about singing as a kid. I just wanted to do like fun kid things and hang out with my friends. So everyone had to audition for our chorus teacher, right? And she was so insanely sweet about it. She brought everybody into a room, which was like kind of soundproof ish. You couldn't hear the kids singing. She brought everybody into her room and everybody auditioned for this. You had to actually audition and like, you know, it was very, she was so sweet about it. It's not her fault. She didn't give me any trauma. But I, when it was time for me to go into her room, had never sung in front of anybody, had never tried to sing other than in chorus with a group. And I auditioned and I was so nervous and scared that it did not go very well and like I sang happy birthday and when the name part came up I said her name and it was the cringiest it was the cr one of the cringiest things I've ever done there's another reason too it was it was really bad and she, at the end she was like great job thanks and then I just went off and then it was time for another kid to audition it went so horribly 
And from that point on, I was like, okay, I'm just uh, not gonna do this again. But then, come the end of middle school, I think I told this story before in a confession. But basically, my friends, my ex-best friend, my ex-boyfriend, this is like middle school though, we um, made a band and we used to practice and we used to do stuff like that but somebody's parents told the school that we were in a band and the school decided that we were going to perform on the last day, on the last day of school. And we were like 12 so it's you know it is it is what it is but there was another band playing and i still remember the name of their band and i still remember the name of our band our band was boulevard motel because there was a motel with a cool sign in our neighborhood the cringiest 12 year old emo kid stuff ever and their band was called Sm star smash and they actually continued music through high school and were pretty good and we i believe covered american idiot but when the time came i played the bass because you know I'm cool. And when the time came, um, my best friend was supposed to sing because she was the singer. And she decided to back out. So then they made me sing. And it was a disaster. Thankfully, I was going into high school the next year. I didn't see any of those kids that I remembered from middle school. I'm sure some of them remembered it as like cringy, but like nobody bullied me for it. It was the last day of school, and I was leaving that middle school, so it didn't matter. But that was pretty traumatizing, because I did so bad. I didn't know how to sing. I was like, I'm literally just minutes before I was supposed to sing, like, or learned I was supposed to sing. That's crazy. The necklace is being loud and annoying. I'm sorry about that. But, yeah, so those two instances kind of made me decide that my singing career was over and the only time I would ever sing was never in front of anybody and alone in my mom's car with like a little recorder and that's about it. But as I grew up I did do one thing which was practice singing to myself when I was alone and I kind of developed this, I'm sure people do it, but I developed this thing where I kind of like whisper sing. That way I could sing songs in like a quieter setting without anybody knowing that I was singing. And especially if you're a singer, like try that out. Try out the whisper singing because I think it really helps you get a lot of control of like your breath and that shakiness that you find when you're singing. And otherwise, otherwise. Why the fuck am I saying otherwise? Yeah, I did that a lot. And then in the past year, like I said, I've been practicing singing. And what I do is I get my microphone. A microphone is pretty important if it's a mic on a, this is for singing specifically, but if it's a mic on a headphones or whatever you have, mine's like $12. That's why the quality sucks, but it's a microphone. So I got a microphone and I go and I sit in my car when it's nighttime because I live in Florida and I practice singing. I cover songs. I look up YouTube covers on on YouTube like piano covers or acoustic covers and then I sing them. I did have a cover up but it got copywritten even though it said I could use it. Whatever. But I have been practicing and one of the big things that I do Oh my god. One of the big things that I do now that has helped me the most is karaoke. And I sing on smule, smule, every time I say it, I say it weird, but just because it's funny. But not sponsored. I'm a little baby tiny YouTuber. I'm not sponsored at all. I used it for free and right now I'm in the trial. And I think on my last video I said follow me on there if you want to sing with me. It's really fun. It like adds this game element to doing what is work, like singing is physical, <laughs> physically taxing, which is something I've learned in the past year. It takes your breath and it makes you really, really sweaty. But it has literally been a lifesaver for practicing singing. This sounds so much like an ad. I swear to God, it's not. I just want to give you advice on what's helped me improve. And you can literally see the improvement if you go back because it saves all your recordings. And it's a karaoke app. That's, if you don't want to download that, just karaoke in general. Like there's karaoke videos on YouTube. There's karaoke bars. I really want to go to one. I can't make songs right now. You guys know that. I've talked about it. 
So that's one thing that has like kept me sane when I'm not painting or doing videos. I'm on there singing because it's practice and practice and practice and different methods like singing different kinds of artists, different kinds of songs, fast songs, slow songs, quiet, whatever. You get the point. I am an idiot so I over explain everything because that's what I need done to me. But yeah, I just think that practicing is super important. That's how you do the thing. And it's the same with like sport, whatever, sport ball, skateboarding, rollerblading, I don't know, surfing, anything that you do, like you're gonna suck. And I know you've probably heard that from a lot of people and I still suck, I think, which is fine. I'm not looking for, I'm not looking for compliments. What I'm really focused on is just improving, whether it's for myself or for other people to enjoy it. It's improving and I see it there so I want to share it with people and the tools that I use. I save when it comes to music well, actually and painting. I save the good ones. I save the bad ones. I look where I need improvement. I work on things. I go back and I work on things. I have like hundreds of recordings saved of old songs that I decided to scrap. I have old written like all of my books with my songs in it because you always want to go back and see the the change and one thing i read before one thing i read is that if you look back on yourself and you cringe that means that you've grown and the same thing applies to art if you look back at your art and you go what the hell was that like that sucked then guess what you've probably grown and improved and gotten better so just remember that use your tools to practice and don't give up just because you think you suck because I, like I said, I've been drawing for 20 plus years and I still think that I suck personally. Other people can disagree, but that's like, that keeps me motivated to keep getting better. When I finish a painting, I'm thinking about all of the imperfections and things that I did wrong, even if other, if, okay, chill out, need to relax a little bit. Even if other people think that it's perfect and amazing, I'm seeing the imperfections. Where did he go? I saw him. Come here. You haven't seen him in a video in a long time, so here he is. Look at him. Precious. Anyway, um, it, it's really important. Practice actually does make you better. I don't know about perfect. I'll let you know when I get there, but I love you. Bye. See, this is why I didn't film a video today. Do you hear how loud it is off here? Can't hear a damn 